Hi guys, welcome again. So I had my lunch. Have you watched the video before this one? I said I was gonna go feed the kid, feed the dog, have some lunch, put the laundry away. I didn't put the laundry away. <laughs> like that, the laundry's clean. You just sit there until tomorrow, right? Yeah, like whatever. So where's the channel going? That's the question, huh? What's Cindy gonna do with the channel? Well, so here's the thing. The last video that I did, which was the one, well, prior to the one that you may have just seen, where I was talking about how I know the universe is love, was the one that I did down at the lake um, near where my folks lived, where I was staying, and it was all frozen out there. And you know, after that video, I just thought, yeah, like I didn't feel right about the content at this point. Not the content of that video, but of the channel now. And it's more and more of that clarity came through for me over the following week where I stepped away from the channel, I stepped away from a lot of social media in general. And I just spent like time thinking and just letting thoughts flow it's almost sort of meditative but not like specifically sitting in meditation or anything like that and I thought to myself you know there were so many messages that started coming through in the different readings that I was doing that I felt like we're leading up to what's going on right now with COVID-19 and a lot of that kind of got missed. It was like a little breadcrumb trail. I was too absorbed in my own life and too absorbed in doing other things in the channel and thinking that this is the direction, this is what we're doing. And um, it got me thinking like right now, it doesn't feel right for me to do Zodiac readings for a couple of reasons. A, I think messages can get missed because people are specifically trying to fit something to it. This is my zodiac, this is what I need to hear. I think right now it's important to remove as many labels that we can, as many labels that we've placed on ourselves and other people. And to me right now, that includes the zodiac. And it's not to say that other zodiac readings aren't um, quite, I want to say like quite relevant to you, but you know what? I feel like that's covered. I feel like it's covered. I feel like it's covered in so many different ways. There's great spiritual ones that are out there. There's relations, there's so many related ones. Like, oh my gosh, so many. Um, I always feel like mine were sort of in between that, the two, be one and the other. And the other. What I feel like right now, what I'm called to do right now, I don't know, maybe down the road it will change and I will go back to Zodiac. I'm not going to put anything in stone. I'm just, how I feel right now, I still want to produce three videos a day. I still want to do that up until like Thursday. I'm still sort of thinking about what I would do on Fridays. Maybe I won't do anything. Um, well, I have to see too, right? Because there's no school. So I'm also going to be homeschooling my son. A bit or at least trying to keep him off the internet <laughs> off of an electronic device because you know as soon as I get on here he's, <laughs> he's on there he's actually facetiming with a friend right now while uh, playing um, I think it's Minecraft I think they're playing Minecraft so <laughs> yeah so anyway so there is that element um, but so what I'm gonna do the three videos a day that I want to release are going to you're going to choose which one to watch. You can choose them all if you want. You can choose them all if you want. But I'm going to uh, categorize it in three ways. And it's going to be based on how you feel that day. So if you're feeling quite up, you're feeling positive, you're feeling uplifted, there'll be a video for you for that day. If you're feeling so just sort of neutral, you know what? Like I'm not feeling uplifted. I'm not really feeling negative either. I'm just, I'm just sort of coasting. There will be a video for you. If you were feeling down, if you were feeling anxious, if you were feeling worried, if you were feeling depressed, there will be a video for you. And the one thing I will ask, if you feel you are up to it, if you feel you are up to it, because it can be a bit of a heavy commitment if you do decide to go in and do it. 
is if you are one of those people that are feeling very energetic or very positive, and I caution you on this, I'm going to caution you, I'm going to tell you why. I think it's great if anyone could do it, and I would, you know, I would definitely say try it if you're up to it, is if you're one of those people that is coming from the video, the mind space, the emotions of feeling uplifted, please feel free to go into the video where people are not and try to spread some of your light in the comment section because that's what people are, are needing, <laughs> the word need, for they are, really are needing that when um, they're feeling down. But, but see, here's the key. You, if you couldn't do it, you have to do it in a way that you're not telling them that what they're feeling isn't legit because it is legit. It's totally legit, whatever anybody's feeling, whenever they're down. So I put it out there, but you know, keep in mind, and this is why I'm cautioning, there's a very small percentage of people that I think would be up to this. So this message is kind of for them in that. Um, you may feel up one day, maybe you go a whole week feeling up and you go into that comment section and you know, you try to spread some of your light Try to, try to help people feel a little bit more positive or just be an ear for them to speak to is you're going to get replies likely from that and you might get replies coming in at a point where now you've kind of gone down for whatever reason. You're kind of low. So you have to. It's a big responsibility. <laughs> kind of like having this channel. It's like, oh my God, it's a big responsibility. But I feel like, you know, part of my, you know, one of the, the, the long posts that I put in my community channel about was the pressure that I was feeling about people needing to hear messages and feeling, you know, kind of responsible for either helping, keeping neutral or elevating somebody or lowering somebody's mental health on any given day. And I myself am now more comfortable with providing something that I think people need from me that I'm comfortable giving. And this is how I'm comfortable giving in it, in this sort of format. So there will not be, at least at this time, an Aquarius, a Pisces, an Aries, a Taurus, a Gemini, a Cancer, a Leo, a Virgo, uh, what comes like, uh, Virgo. You can do it, Cindy. <laughs> Virgo. The people next to going, say that. I want to say, no, it's not Scorpio yet. Who am I missing? Leo. Virgo. Libra. <laughs> oh my gosh. Libra. Libra. And the Libras are sitting there like, it's okay. We're used to people forgetting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Libra. Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Capricorn readings. And I'm just saying that because there will be a message for each one of you every day, but without the label of who you are as your sun sign or your moon sign or your rising, anything like that at this time for me on this channel. It's what I feel more comfortable doing right now. Um, yeah, that's what I feel comfortable doing. So. That's where it's going right now, guys. A um, little behind. Uh, so yeah, this is Monday. You're gonna see, I don't know when I'm putting, I'm just gonna put them out. <laughs> I'm doing this Sunday. I used to do, I used to work from like Monday, no, Sunday to Friday. Fridays used to be filled up with doing quite a few private readings and I've done, I finished those. Finished all my private readings last week, the last ones that were booked. If you haven't received yours yet, please look in your email or look in your junk or email me if you've done that and you don't have it because I've done them all unless I've sent it to an email that was in your PayPal that isn't the one that you check or something. But anyways, that's another thing. So they're all done. So I'm not taking that on right now. I'm just wanting to focus on this because it reaches a lot of people. So I did work from Sunday to Friday. So Sunday stuff would be coming out Monday. It was always a day ahead, sort of, so to speak. So you're watching probably, I don't know, I might, the one that I just did is processing on my computer. Once it's done, I'm just going to release it. Like, why wait? People need to hear that. It's a pretty nice message. It's the message about love, right? So I'm going to release that. So I'm going to try to do like, 
So Tuesday might be the official day that that sort of starts happening on here. Yeah, so that's the change. That's my change. So it changes. I started doing these. I did pick a card when I started the channel. Different pick a card readings. It was a daily pick a card. This is a little bit like that. It could be like that. But I want to take the I just want to base it on how you feel. How do you feel? Because you can be an Aquarian and you can be a Capricorn. You can be an Aries. You can be a Pisces. And be needing some sort of a message because you're feeling low. That's how I want it to be right now. I want to take the labels. Out. I even think, does it matter if you're Canadian, American, Chinese, Italian, British, Jamaican, Portuguese, whatever. It doesn't matter right now. Let's just remove the labels and let's just connect and hear what the messages are, right? Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I feel compelled to do. One of the comments, when I, when I, when I put in the community section, um, you know, that I was stepping away, I was told like full stop, come away, Just full stop, come away, come away from the channel. I didn't want to, but I kind of knew that I needed to. And one of the comments I thought was interesting, and it's not to call the person out at all because I was totally like that <laughs> for like a few years ago. Probably not even that long ago. And it was like, don't you think that maybe you should listen to what it is you really want to do instead of some like spiritual guidance or like, and I thought, you know, yeah, I've been there, done that, <laughs> you know, been there, done that. And when you hear a message, whether it's from a friend, it's from a spouse, it's from a parent, it's from a neighbor, it's from your inner self. Because when I get a message, I really do believe it's my inner self. That's part of my spirit guidance is from my deeper inner self and not to discredit any spirit guides around me. I think they communicate to me through my inner self, my deeper self. Sometimes you need to listen because I think I benefited from pulling away. So don't be afraid to listen to what other people suggest. If it's a suggestion that doesn't feel good to you, then don't do it. But if it's, a if it's a suggestion and you think to yourself, gosh, you really don't want to do that. <sighs> but I think I need to. You know, think about it, right? So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. So that's that. This is a shorter video than the other one. I don't know how long. I can believe how long it was. So, oh yeah. So now I'm going to do the video about the cards that I pulled for what the oak men were trying to say. That's an interesting one. Yes. So until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.